Um, but the meditation, which is why I like this one so much, is because it's very rounded with passive and active sort of meditation. Passive slash active creation. Good afternoon, you guys. I just wanted to share a quick video. Uh, I thought I'd lighten the mood a little bit, raise the spirits as you guys requested and do some videos. Do a video, actually a one solid particular video this time on the best, medita me best meditation to raise your vibration. That being said, thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. It's nice to see you. If you're new, take your shoes off. Stay a while. If you've been here a while, thanks. I appreciate everything you've done for the channel and the continued support. Let's get right into it. Um, it's a five-part meditation. It should take you no longer than 15 minutes. It hits on all the things that, it, that need to be hit on. Specific um, and well, but also well-rounded at the same time. Here's the first thing. You want to imagine yourself surrounded with a ball of love. Uh, growing from your center and encircling you, uh, then your house, then your city, your state, your country, your planet, your solar system, your galaxy, as far out as you want to go. The ball can be whatever color you want. I don't care. Make make the ball fucking rainbow, sherbet color, whatever, whatever works for you. That's number one. Number two is, um, ooh, forgiveness. So this is a big one. I would argue that the heaviest, that the most dense energy one can hold on to is that of resentment, that of um, not forgiving people. So you want to find all the people that you've held a grudge onto, hug it out. T -t see him in your mind's eye, walk up to him and say, come here, you little bastard, give me a hug. Yeah, take that. that. It's going to feel weird at first. It's probably going to feel weird for a while, especially if you have a lot of resentment towards the person. But what eventually happens is you're reworking the brain you're reworking the relationship that you have with that person instead of telling the same dark heavy ass story about you and that person over and over again you start to change the dialogue a little bit you know getting your brain used to a different sort of perception on that circumstance that person and we feel lighter towards them because even if you don't even if you don't realize you're hating on someone every bit counts you know what i mean it's like if you have 20,000 thoughts a day and only one thought it doesn't seem like a big deal but if if 15,000 of those thoughts are either neutral or negative then then you're going backwards and you're getting heavier but if you can switch it if you can say at least 15,000 of your thoughts individually are positive neutral or positive then you're going forward you see what I'm saying it's all about it's the little things um, and forgiveness is a huge little thing. My God, it's a huge little thing. It's, 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 anywho, let's get to the next one. The next one is we had, um, love for, oh, gratitude. So just sit there and imagine all the things you're grateful for. Be silly about it. Be small, be big. The more things you find to be grateful for, the more things that you're grateful for. It's, just, it's as simple as that. Like I'm grateful for this orange tree, even though the aphids have been doing, where are you? Even though the, the aphids have been doing work and half the oranges are just not happy anymore. I'm still thankful that I have a tree to make healthy again. And you know, whatever it is, sun, I'm happy. I'm I'm thankful for the fact that I'm even meditating right now. But you know, it's whatever it is. Um, you wanna imagine your perfect day. What's your perfect day look like? From the moment you wake up in the morning, uh, what you have for lunch, the thoughts that you have, the more importantly, the feelings that you have, because when we look back on ourselves in the past and we, oh, that was such a nice moment in my life. At least for myself, what I think of is how my thoughts were at that time. Oh man, at that time I was so carefree or I was so motivated or I just felt so good and I felt so at peace. It's, we want to imagine our perfect day and not just the things we do, but the things we feel. It's very important to, to to be proactive with feelings instead of reactive with feelings because feelings are life you know what i mean they, they are they are life fifth oh imagine yourself five years from now so you can kind of tie four and five together all right you, you have your what's your perfect day look like and then imagine yourself for the fifth part where your life is in five years what it looks like again what do you feel are you 
crystal clear in your intentions? Are you happy? Are you in an adventurous spirit where you don't know what's going to happen the next day, but you like it like that? Do you feel grounded? Do you feel excited? Do you feel peaceful? Do you feel like, what? what is it? Um, and the idea is we got to do this daily. We got to do this daily because, you know, funneling cosmic love, being a channel for love means your vessel becomes love. That's the whole point of part one. You want to extend your love outward to the world, to your immediate and the extensive world. But it's not so much you just just blast in love it's more about your vessel becomes the channel and if your vessel channels nothing but love by default and osmosis you therefore must be loved um and but that takes time you know what i mean you're not going to notice this shit overnight or in a couple weeks well, actually i take that back something like this is actually really good you'll notice something for sure in a couple weeks if you're sincere in your approach and you do it well you know what i mean give yourself some space it's nice to plan ahead for a meditation if you have a chaotic life because you you sort of prep your mind okay tomorrow i'm waking up at this time i'm meditating i'm doing this 10 15 20 minutes um, i'm giving it a sincere uh, you know, I'm giving it 110, a good genuine 110. And then do it again. Forgive those that have wronged you again and again in your mind. Um, be grateful again and again in your mind. I didn't go too much into gratitude, but the reason why gratitude is such a powerful tool for creation or such a powerful tool for connecting with source, which is bliss, is because... Gratitude is the bridge for sort of the etheric um, nothingness that becomes the something. Right? So you say, how, how does something go from the etheric non potential? There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. How does something go from pure potential to a something? How does something go from nothingness to an actual dense orange tree. Sorry, girl, I didn't mean to touch you that hard. My bad, I was trying to prove a point. Gratitude is that, gratitude is the emotional link to the etheric realm. Being able to cultivate proactively the sensation of gratitude is the link to consciously creating. We can subconsciously create by going about our life and so like, oh, this makes me happy, I'm gonna do that. That makes me angry, I'm gonna not do that, right? That's a sort of that's sort of a passive creation, which works beautifully, right? That's another way of creating. Um, but the meditation, which is why I like this one so much, is because it's very rounded with passive and active sort of meditation. Passive slash active creation. Um, and that's a very active way of creation is, is generating gratitude from things that don't normally get you that excited because eventually you do start becoming excited for things like eventually you do get really excited that you've grown a plant you know what i mean why is it oh my god like some people are like oh it's a corn plant but if you grow it yourself and you look at it over a couple months and you eat it and you think god damn i that's so that's so cool that's so cool that i was able to grow my own food and eat it it tastes amazing and it's a different connection and it's a different response and it's a completely different pathway of thought that's new useful uh it's it's just there's a whole there's a whole fuck i could talk for the next hour on the on breaking each one of these things down and why it works so well but just please trust me when i say that it does work so i'll recap um step one in this meditation is fill a ball around you with love and light and then make it bigger and bigger to engulf as much as you want so that you're so that you create love as your vessel two is um forgiveness you, you want to start not only do you want to create the light and draw in the light but you want also want to let go of the weight at the same time so that's the forgiveness part gratitude is actively creating that lightness through gratitude so you've got unhinging, and then you've got adding on to the lightness. Uh, third is gratitude. No, I already said that. That was the third one, gratitude. Fourth, imagine your perfect day, right? This is this is very um, 
again, active. This is very structured. This is how it should look day to day, more or less. It doesn't have to be flawless. And fifth is see yourself five years from now. So this leaves the sort of masculine structure day by day of step number four and goes more to the wholesome imagined flawless life where you're skipping the how like how is my perfect life going to manifest you're dropping the active masculine and you're picking up the and you're, you're dropping the 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 masculine and you're picking up the feminine that being said enjoy everything thank you guys for being here i'm your host keith the man of letters um comment like subscribe i appreciate the support and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy